Yes, 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 yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Mark Days. Listen, today we're building my son his first gaming PC, his dream gaming PC. Building him a whole dream setup. So we're going through the parts here. We got a beautiful one terabyte drive. We got 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. Uh, we're doing this on a nice little budget. We don't need to go too crazy. We've got a RX 6750 XT. I mean, this thing is gonna perform beautifully. Uh, we're dealing with the Corsair H100X right there. We got some beautiful RGB lights, some fans. Ooh, listen, we got it all today, baby. All right, tough gaming. A520M motherboard plus Wi-Fi. Got to have that Wi-Fi included, you know. Uh, T-Force Delta RAM. DDR4, like I said, uh, 16 gigs. I believe it's clocked around 3,200, uh, if I'm not too, too uh, mistaken there. There's our little Wi-Fi thing right there uh, we got the motherboard coming out of the box it's a beautiful motherboard by the way a I believe it's a micro ATX form factor uh, we do have our little IO shield there and some Molex cables that we're not gonna use we have no reason for those whatsoever it's beautiful though and it, it was it was a delight to be able to do this for him uh, I know he's been gaming on console for a long time he's turned 13 and I really wanted to build him his own gaming PC so he could have that experience like I'm having and even sometimes team up. Uh, there goes the IO on the motherboard. Uh, some A lot of slots there, beautiful amount of uh, slots there, IOs, uh, USBs, display port, HDMI. I mean, you got everything you need here. There's really nothing to complain about with this motherboard. Uh, was pretty reasonably priced from what I remember and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started here so we have the Wi-Fi here the Wi-Fi connector uh, it does this little swivel thing it's kind of cool I enjoyed uh, looking at that when I had the opportunity to and that's where you plug it in at on the back of the IO of the motherboard once you've done it complete so we're just opening up these RAM slots here the second and fourth so that we run it in dual channel and take advantage full advantage of those sticks so we got the uh, one terabyte NVMe drive going up in there or NV2.2 whatever it's called it's uh I don't know if it was NVMe I think it's NV2 okay so sorry for any noise in the background y'all know how this goes if you're a part of my channel you know I got the kids and uh, sometimes you hear them in the back so we're just slamming in that first bit of RAM there into the first slot I wanted to go ahead and zoom in so you can and this is RGB RAM it didn't even cost that much um I mean, DDR4 RAM has come down in price quite a bit, so it was really affordable and it's gonna serve to have some nice lighting. All right, so we got a 5000 series processor here, the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X. I wanted to make sure that I got that in there, make sure that I set that down properly without bending the pins, because we don't wanna have to go ahead and I'll be buying another one. So that's in there nice and snug. Just giving you a quick view of what it looks like with the RAM. And everything installed into the motherboard I mean this was a pretty straightforward process this part of the build is easy you know you're just putting stuff in its place screwing something down if you need to it's really nothing too serious at all again this is not a build guide I'm not a PC expert this is just showing the process that went into building my son's PC you got a rat's nest of cables and uh, it's gonna get worse from here folks but that's your fan connectors back there so I'm taking off the front panel here and I'm about to get busy up in this thing so right here uh, they had some thumb screws real easy I mean the case was okay it came pre-installed with four uh, fans RGB fans so I was very happy about that um, I wanted to go ahead and get so look at my baby's hands. Uh, he wanted to get in the mix right there. I had to give him the boot though, you know what I'm saying? So I had to take out the hard drive uh, case down there. Nobody uses those anymore. So I wanted to get rid of that to make make room for some cables when I install the power supply. Here goes our AIO or our uh, CPU cooler uh, directly from Corsair. RGB, of course, to get that beautiful lighting. Um, just pop it in the IO shield at this point. And uh, we got the motherboard that's about to drop down in there. And we're going to get that thing setting in place. So beautiful AIO, by the way. Two fans, uh, radiator. It was just nice. You know, just something nice to add to it. So I started plugging in some of the case fans and 
getting things in order this was a little bit easier because i had done it already with my pc build which was a savage animal pc build as you can see that's the apivia prestige uh 80 plus gold rated it unfortunately it wasn't modular so i had all the cables hanging out the back but no big deal so here goes our cable extensions we went with the nice blue uh, that's the 24 pin atx cable that got put in there and look at how beautiful it is when you put those cable extensions on there i mean it just makes it look so neat and so nice you know what i'm saying so yeah i mean it, it just looks absolutely amazing so that's the cpu cooler installed of course the amd form factor there everything's looking beautiful it's coming together now i started to want to tackle the back here I'm not the best cable manager in the world, but you know, I plugged everything up. I had an extra fan hub laying around from my last build that I needed to use. There's the graphics card installed. All the cables are connected. I mean, it just was beautiful. I mean, of course, there was a little bit of trouble here and there because it was a different case, a different form factor, different this, different that. But overall, I plugged everything in. I solved every problem that I had and I was in the BIOS and everything was working. So the lights are shining, good sign there. Everything was looking beautiful. I went ahead and installed Windows and I mean, I had zero complaints. This build went off kind of without a hitch, you know, it was going, getting in there, installing in there. Beautiful graphics card, nice beefy graphics card, but not too big. We got the cable extensions going out, the blue. It looked absolutely stunning and my son needless to say i believe he's very happy he's probably playing it as we speak right now so i did the little peel off there and it looks so beautiful we went with the blue color inside i mean it just looks absolutely amazing i mean no complaints whatsoever here i'm sorry for the orientation here i didn't have the camera in the right way but i wanted to get a couple of shots of the pc as it was running in his room and as everything was going and we'll see a couple of these shots and i'll i think i'll pan out and show a shot of the actual room itself look at that graphics card that that graphics card is a beast it made me rethink my whole pc build like i didn't need to build what i built there goes my son having a good time enjoying his room i put up some nice lights for him and kind of redid the whole thing for him his whole room for his birthday and uh, he has a school laptop on the side and he has his gaming PC and his iPhone and everything just right there for him in his room. And uh, I believe he was extremely happy and I'm just so happy there. And uh, right here is the microphone. I ended up getting him a nice little microphone where he could talk to his friends and, you know, just chop it up and have a good time. So that's the end of the video, folks. Again, it's not a PC build. It was just showing the chronicling the setup that I did. Uh, for my son and listen once again like comment subscribe thank you again for taking the time to watch my videos and this is mark day signing off god bless peace be unto you